coming. Like, I thought there was like a group was co gonna come at me at this point. You know, people are crazy these days. 26 years old going after a 12 year old. This is disgusting. I have six guys with me. We are from Anonymous. We're gonna come find you, kidnap you, and for you. Hey guys, it's Celeste. Welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed my background changing. Some people have been. To Why is it that when I film videos, I lose my train of thought? Some people have told me to kind of have a more solid background, less distracting background. So I'm going to use this as the background. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys about the time that my life was threatened. I did actually make this video two years ago, um, but the video and the audio quality was terrible. I looked orange. The background wasn't good. What I was wearing wasn't good. So now I'm going to remake it now in a more professional setting. And I'm going to also have a mini clip of my mom, just a little blurb from her. So if you guys want to know what happened, keep on watching. A lot of you guys probably don't know that I was making videos even when I was 8, 9, 10 years old. I would post like stupid little videos with my webcam, bad quality. Then I stopped and then when I was 12 years old, I started making consistent videos. I would get, you know, a decent amount of audience. Everything was good and then in the summer that I was 12 years old, this is where a lot of things changed. It was the summer. I was in my basement going live because my sister was sleeping because she was really young at the time. I think it was about 10 at night. I wasn't showing my face. Like, I had it up, like, facing the ceiling. Um, everything was all good until this guy comes on. Now, I will never forget his name. I will never forget what he looked like. So, this was a 25, 26-year-old. He had weed. Yeah. Thanks. He was, like, those upcoming rappers. You know, I'm not trying to, like, generalize people. But, yeah, you, you see where this is going. Now, he had Anonymous as his profile picture. Keep in mind that during these times... I don't know if you guys remember a phase of tons of internet trolls. Like, there was so many trolls trying to prank you, trying to um, dox you. Is that the word? When they send, like, the SWAT team to your house, which another guy also threatened to do that, too, literally a few weeks after this happened. So there was just trolls everywhere, especially because they saw I'm a young girl, so they thought, hey, maybe I could get to her head, maybe I can get a laugh out of this. He comes on, basically, everything was fine, and then this is when he said, I have six guys with me. We are from Anonymous. We're going to come find you, kidnap you, and torture you. I saw some messed up crap when I was 12 years old, so this triggered me. For some reason at the time, the word torture like really did torture me mentally. I don't know if, I think I saw some videos on YouTube and ever since that, I just like, it bothered me so much. So I saw that, right? I was bothered deep down, but I was like, hey, guys, like ignore him. He's trolling, he's trolling. Um, but then he kept going with it, okay? He kept going with it and said, we are legion. Don't forget us, expect us, like anonymous slogan. So I thought that anonymous were bad guys. Like at that time, I thought that this was like a group coming. Like I thought there was like a group was co gonna come at me at this point. Like that's what was going through my head. I switched from the live stream to my friends, frantic. I'm like, guys, look what's happening. Come join. And then people started defending me. But then what happened was he's like, I, I know where you live. And then he said the city I was in. I wish I ended it right then and there, but you could see I was kind of like, no, you don't. He could have gotten my city by doing some simple searches. So that wasn't that much out of the ordinary. But then what happened was he said, I'm going to come on Friday. And this was, I think, like the Sunday or Monday and basically drop explosives. So um, this mall that was literally like three minute drive away from my house. Okay, and I went there very often. He could have chosen so many, and that's where it really got to us. That's where I was like, okay, something's not right here. So immediately I started freaking out. I started getting nervous and everything. I was downstairs in the basement, it was dark. I was like, no, 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 no. So I end the live stream and I go upstairs. And I wasn't gonna tell my mom because in my head I was like, I know this is not real. Like there's so many internet trolls. Like I told myself that because I was so used to this stuff happening. As a 12 year old girl, I should not be used to all these creepy guys. Like my age, older, writing these comments. Like it, that wasn't the only incident. There was so many other like perverted and messed up, screwed up incidences that have happened. But this is where like the cops got involved in everything you are literally making it harder for children to feel comfortable so i went up and i finally got the to tell her and she's like no we gotta call the police i was like the police we're gonna call the police and she's like we gotta call the police because it's better to be safe than sorry what if this guy's serious he go goes drop something on on friday and or finds me or both and then we feel that terrible amount of guilt because we could have done something. I even remember I ended the stream and then my mom came down and I went live again because I wanted him to hear. I was gonna do, I was trying to be sneaky. I wanted him to pretend like I went live on, on accident and hear my mom saying that we're gonna get the cops involved. So he'd be like, oh, sh like this was a joke. Like I didn't mean it, like whatever. But he just was laughing in the comments, right? And now thinking about it, maybe this guy was high. Like maybe he was on something, you know, because this isn't normal. You're 26 years old going after a 12 year old. The next few days, my mom got in contact with her cop friends because she knows some people that are like involved in law enforcement. My parents 
were worried that they were gonna get in trouble. They thought that they were gonna get in trouble because I wasn't technically supposed to have a YouTube. But now thinking about it, there was there are so many kids channels that the parents run the channel. So technically they weren't gonna do anything wrong, but they were worried that they were gonna get in trouble that I had a YouTube channel, which they didn't, they weren't. Then what happened was in the next few days, I was in shock. I don't remember if I had nightmares about it, but I would get nervous because I'm like, what if there's some guy out there in trying to get me? He could literally drive to where I am. It's not that, that far. I mean, it's kind of far, but like, it's not like impossible. He probably would be able to. Then what happened was she called the non-emergency line and basically the police came to our house like a week later. My mom brought her best friend for moral support and her best friend's daughter, which is like around my age because my mom was convinced she was gonna get in trouble. The police came to the house and you know, we had screenshots of everything. When he came, he called me over, he read the messages to my face, the police, and maybe people wouldn't do that now because these days people get like very triggered, easily offended, and said the exact things to my face. I don't know why he would do that though. Now that I think about it, why would you, like, that was already like a really traumatic experience. Why do you want to, like, why do you want to say it to my face what he said? I'm going to come do this. <sighs> the cop told me to give him my username and password so they could log in, pretend to be me, go live to try to catch him, to try to see if he's gonna come back on my live to try to catch him in another act, to catch him saying something else, or giving, or kind of criminalizing himself, you know? I don't think they ever did that because I didn't notice anything. What I did was I put tons of videos on, like I put all my videos on private, I made sure, because he found me on Instagram, so I made sure to block him and block any accounts with Anonymous, and the thing is, the cops, like truly, they don't, I don't think they care when things happen online. Like. He basically said that they opened the case and that they were going to investigate this, but they never gave us details or updates of what happened. I mean, maybe they could have notified the police, I don't know. Um, but I don't know if even they sent an extra security presence at that mall on Friday. I'm not sure. They didn't give us anything. It's just we never got closure. After that, like, literally nothing. And, you know, I actually came back to YouTube a few weeks later because I thought to myself, like, no, like, you know, I can't just leave because of this. The cops are not gonna do anything they didn't say if they found the guy they didn't say anything they just that's the thing they just give you false hope because it's like online threats and it's just i don't know if it's different now but like i don't think they did anything yesterday i got my mom to say what she, how she felt so i'm gonna include the clip dude it's seriously because you never know you know people are crazy these days so you never know what someone can do and then when there's, when there's a threat like that you know, you need to report it. Um, I think he did follow my Instagram like literally a few weeks later, but I blocked him. But then I got threatened that I was gonna get doxxed or like the SWAT team coming to my house. Cause you know, there was an era where like YouTubers were getting like swatted. Swatted, I think that's the word. Yeah, and that's all, like nothing really seriously happened. So at the end of the day, that's all that happened. And like my friends made fun of me like two years after when we were in school about it, whatever. But you guys, like, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Cause what if this guy really was out to get me? Who knows, but that's what happened. And I hope he's a changed person, that guy. But yeah, that's all for this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please be safe online. Don't feel bad to get the cops involved because it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, and I'm glad my, mo my mom and my parents did. So yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more story times. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.